2020. What haven't you taken from us? When you swear in a new parliament, there's a feeling of hope. Hope that the new faces bring about something, well, new. And hope that the old faces, if nothing else, bring guidance, maybe a sense of stability, continuity. But then there was one senator that really made us hope that our eyes and our ears were lying to us. Anil Roberts, having been appointed a member of parliament, do swear that I will bear true faith and allegiance to Trinidad and Tobago, will uphold the constitution and the law, and will conscientiously and impartially discharge the responsibilities to the people of Trinidad and Tobago upon which I am about to enter. Yeah, that's right. That's Mr. Spork, Mr. Tupul, Mr. Life Sport himself back in the Parliament, the Upper House, no less. But I have to say, if you were shocked, it just means you weren't paying attention. Let's take you back to October 2016, when Justice Mira Dina Mori quashed the Life Sport audit based on improper procedure. And that's because Arnold's testimony was not properly recorded and documented that night. That night! Kamala Passad Bissessa and Arnold Roberts told you they'd be back. Watching on TV, do not adjust your dial. It is Arnold you're seeing right here, live and direct. Never went anywhere. For two years and three months, as he tells us, 27 months he stayed quiet. I want to put him in the people's house, so I'll have to ask him. Shall I ask him? Shall I ask Arnold? So we'll put Spock back in the people's house in the parliament. And that is the exact opposite of what people mean when they say, good to put in house. But that was 2016. Ugh, 2016, the year that had a baby with the devil and gave us 2020. But in the lead up to local government elections last year during a Diwali celebration, she told you again that Anil was back. Mr. Roberts is my brother, as I say. He has never left the UNC. We welcome him. We need all hands as we go forward. Mr. Roberts, you're back in, you're back in politics. You're back on the platform. Never left. Never left politics. You want to believe all the lies of Keith Christopher Rowley. I have counted over the last four years. He has lied over 3,617 times. I am here. I'm not in Sweden. I'm right here in Dago Martin working now up in Tunapuna to beat the PNM out of here. Now, I'd be lying if I told you I know what Anna Robert does for a living. But you know you have a lot of time on your hands if you can count to 3,617 of anything. Anna Roberts was also a heavy campaigner on the hustings with his hours-long Facebook lives. We don't, we don't have a clip? Oh, oh, no, it's good. It's good we don't have a clip. It's okay. Long story short, Anna Roberts' return is like erectile dysfunction. You figure it's coming, but you really hope it never does. Let's take a break. <laughs> Welcome back. Before the break, we were telling you that Anna Roberts had the full support of the opposition leader. Keep in mind, this is the same Kamala Passad Bissessa who reacted to this new cabinet by calling them recycled. Roberts, of course, showing from early what we could expect sessions in the Senate to look like. Well, thank you for your guidance. I am definitely not shouting, Madam President. I was born with a loud mouth. I can blame my mother and father for that. Well, Senator so, Roberts, Senator Roberts, if that is the case, then try to whisper. And what is it they say when people show you who they are, believe them, the first time? With the sword of Damocles hanging over the UNC political leader's head, she's made it clear she's not going anywhere. And she's not going to leave the UNC that easily. If she does, there is going to be a trail of destruction in her wake. No, they want me to resign. I am not resigning. I will call, and the party will call its election when it's due. And again, I say, come forward. We'll take you on. I'll take on all comers. I am not afraid of any of you. I've been here longer than you, and I'm far brighter than you could ever, ever hope to be. Ooh, girl. 
Kamala ran a Trump-esque campaign this election season. And we can make TNT great again. And what's the most important thing to Donald Trump? Loyalty. And finally, to the naysayers and critics, detractors of the opposition, not only from the outside, but from the inside. If you are not with us, you are against us. And this is why Anil has a seat at the table. If nothing else, he's fiercely loyal. In politics, immorality is not illegal. So maybe his alleged link to certain activities may be considered immoral, but as of now, they're not illegal. And that's enough to get you into the Senate. Entire audit report, there was nothing in that audit report which, which made any allegations against Anil Roberts or found him guilty of any such um, behavior. Politicians in Trinidad have a way of not dying the villain and somehow living long enough to become the hero. A.N.R. Robinson took a bullet for the country, voted out of office, warmly received as president, got an airport named after him. Basde Opande, whose administration was plagued by allegations of corruption, up to today is now everybody's partner. And we don't need to talk about how this year has been dubbed Patrick Manning's 2020. But it's hard to create a revisionist history of Anna Roberts' tenure as a parliamentarian or minister, even with our notoriously short memories. An article in the UK Guardian used this phrase to describe President Trump, and I think it applies here. Shame performs a vital democratic function, and dangerous is the man who feels none of it. Coming up, Chief Justice and Justice.